everybody, welcome back to Jimmy is Promo, and today we'll be unboxing, setting up, and giving first impressions of the Google Pixel Book Go. Now, this was gifted to me by the team of Google, so thank you so much for sending this out for me to do my reviews and tests. And with that stated, even though this is a gift from Google, all of the opinions and reviews coming from me solely is based on my own opinions. I am not getting paid for any reviews. Now, there are four versions of the Pixel Book Go at various prices on the low end for $600. $149. You're able to get the Intel Core M3 processor with 8 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage. And then you also have the high end going all the way up to the Intel Core i7 with 16 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of internal storage going upwards of the price of $1,400. Now the one that was sent to me here is the one that's pretty much middle tier for $849. This one is the Intel Core i5 processor with eight gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of internal storage with Chrome OS and full HD display. Now, the one thing is that because this one is full HD display, the one thing I forgot to mention with the high end where you're paying $1399, you will be getting a 4K display. So let's open this up. Let's check out what is inside of the box and do the initial setup. And then I'll come back about 48 hours later, letting you know what my thoughts and my reviews of using the Pixel Book Go after 48 hours. Hours. So let's get this one opened up. Now there is one thing that I am excited about because this one is made by Google. You are able to use your Android device and because I do have the Google Pixel 4 XL, I'm able to use this pretty much as the key to unlock this Chromebook. So anytime they're connected and within Bluetooth range, I don't have to unlock the Pixel Book Go. So I am excited about that. So let's move this out of the way. First, let's take off this plastic so it states to pull it around. And right here is pretty much going to be the iconic look or the thing that is pretty much the standout feature design wise. Because on the bottom, these are ridges, these are grooves. Uh, this is something to kind of help you, you know, lift it out of a sleeve, lift it out of your purse, lift it out of your backpack. Because really, anywhere that you grab, you're going to have a little area, a little groove to pull it out. And really, what they're trying to say with this Chromebook here is because number one, it is called Pixelbook Go. They want you to go somewhere with this, they want you to start and end using this one Chromebook. Now, I do like that this one is evenly balanced and weighted and actually I opened it up and, and the screen popped up instantly so what I was trying to say here with it being evenly weighted is you don't have to have your second hand you can literally just take this thumb lift it up and it lifts up the very top sometimes you would have those laptops and keyboards and everything else we have to maybe push down on the bottom just so it doesn't you know lift up the bottom as well too before we open up the Pixelbook Go again, let's look inside of the box over here. So it looks like this small sleeve is gonna be a get started sleeve along with some, some stickers. You will have your charging cable. So this one is type C to type C. So this will allow for a faster charge. And this one is gonna be a 45 watt charging brick. So when you plug this into your wall, you got type C, type C, plug it in and you are good to go pun intended. Now also the great thing about this charger here is that if you plug it in for 20 minutes, it'll give you two hours of use on your Pixelbook Go. So it does have fast charge right away. I don't know what the full time to charge it up all the way, but we'll, we can do that in a upcoming video. So as I stated from before, this is a one hand operation. You do not need to have two hands to open this up. One thing I do want to show with this display is that when you are directly in front, you have a pretty good visibility. But as you start going through the sides, you can see how it kind of, you know, goes away kind of along with my voice drifting in and out as I kind of drift with this camera as well. So when you're directly in front, you'll have a great experience. But if you are somebody from the side, you will be losing quite a bit of your visibility. One benefit of using Chrome OS is that you'll always have the latest versions of anything and everything. It'll automatically do the updates for you with the freshest version. After the update and the firmware updates happen, this is where you log into your Chromebook. Now that we are logged in, let's just take a little look around at what this uh, Chromebook has to offer. So you have your launcher button on the very bottom left hand side. So you can see your Google Assistant bar. You have five different programs or applications, and you also have five right over here. Uh, if you hit this little expand arrow, it'll open up all the rest of the applications. Again, two fingers to scroll up and down to go through this if you don't have 
a mouse that is plugged in. Another way that's a little bit faster to go inside of your little application tray is by pressing and holding on your little keypad on this bar, and then you just basically swipe up. So if you want to open this just a little bit quicker, that is one of the other ways. Now, if you already have a couple different applications open and you want to see all of your tabs, if you're to take your three fingers and swipe down, you're going to see your opened tabs, which is going to be your Chrome as well as the Play Store. So you can see it's two separate different applications. If we go inside of the Chrome itself, I have again, two tabs opened. Uh, and so if you take your three fingers and you swipe left or right, it's gonna switch between those tabs. So if you are, let's say on YouTube right here, and you wanted to go back to that last tab, use your three fingers to go left and right to basically shuffle between them. Now looking at these shortcuts over here of all these different applications, if you wanna add a little bit more on that main bar, let's say maybe you wanted to have your files application down there as well, you can do this too. And then this way it's a little bit easier access to get inside. Now, because this one is running Chrome OS and you are having the Google Play Store here, uh, let's go through and let's just download a few different applications. Now, because this one is a Chromebook, I will be going through and connecting my phone. So I do have the Google Pixel 4 XL. Let's go to accept and continue. Uh, I do have to type in the password of my Google account. And now we are all set. So we have to go to the settings for the options of the connected device. Um, so it says smart lock is turned on. Next time your phone will unlock your Chromebook. Uh, you can turn off smart lock in the settings. So this one's gonna be one of those nice things that you're able to do. So anytime that you are you know, around your Google Pixel 4 XL or the phone that you connected to it, uh, because it is gonna be done through Bluetooth and everything else. So over here on the right-hand side, this is your status. This is your notifications. This is where you can sign out. This is your power button. You also have uh, locking of the Chromebook. You do have your settings. Here's your internet, Bluetooth, notifications, you have night light if you need to turn on the night light. Um, this is going to be your volume control along with your brightness. Now, before I sign off on this video, let's just go over and let's check out a video of my own. So let's go to this one right over here. Uh, I want to test out, you know, the, the forward facing speakers, the stereo sound. So let's open this up. I mean, this actually looks pretty good. And then we can turn it up. Today we're going to talk about the case that I've been using on my Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So almost for the entire duration of the Galaxy Note 10 Plus being released, this has been the case that I have been using. And it is honestly my favorite case. Uh, I've used Scooch in the past with pretty much every other device before this. Um, but there has been improvements and also additions to their lineup. So for the Galaxy Note 10 and there we go. I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. You subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. I'm going to play with this thing for a little bit longer. Uh, get used to it. I'm going to come back with like a 48 hour review of what I've learned, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. But other than that, I'll see you guys later.